Hey guys, so um, I was I wasn't going to film today because I had such a massive like headache. I woke up with the am ambition to um film or do something, but then uh, I got a headache. Um, it's usually when I sleep too long, and I did go to bed kind of early yesterday. And like since I've been taking care of my father-in-law, um, I've been used to having like less and less sleep so i guess my body's not used to getting like a full like eight to whatever hours of sleep anyways um here i am with a, another video um i'm going to try and do like a collective haul but a lot of stuff's like put away and my makeup area is very messy for some reason um usually i like to keep it like neat and stuff but <clears throat> anyways I'm just gonna get into it. Anyways, I did my makeup today. Um, I didn't do a video on it, so if you want me to, I can try and do that. Um, I don't know how often I'm going to be able to film. Like, I'm not gonna put myself on a schedule because, um, like, my life now. I just can't do that. Um, it's actually St. Patrick's Day today, so I decided to just do, like, a... It's supposed to be a gold and, like, green look. I used this palette, um, it's the BB Work of Art eye booklet, and I got this from Burlington. Um, originally it's $20, but I got it for $12.99, if you can see that. And that's what it looks like. I'll open it and I'll show you. Um, they're okay, um, like some, I mean, don't get me wrong, they're pigmented, but they kind of also um blend away even though i did do a primer and then like i put shadow down to set the primer and stuff so anyways i used um i used a, the green section from the top and that's what they look like there's a whole lot of like mattes and shimmers which i really like um and i don't really wear green all that often so um Anyways, and then there's these colors down here, and it comes with, like, a double-sided brush, which it's actually not that bad of quality. So, like, this is the first time I'm using it. I've had it for quite a while. Like I said, I'm just now, like, getting back into makeup and doing, um, uh, I'm just getting back into makeup. Anyways, <laughs> so the gold is on my lid, and there was like an initial, like the sparkle, or the like, over, sh like if you can see, this one's very shimmery, it's like an overspray, so this is on my lid, and I kind of had to like, build it up, and then, I think, yeah, this one's in my crease just for a blending color, and then this is to deepen it up. So, like I said, it's an okay palette for, like, what it is. I've never used anything from BB before, so I think I say it. I'm saying it right. Um, so, yeah. And then I have no foundation on, like always. Um, yeah, I don't know. I just didn't feel, like, foundation today. And then I also did put a little bronzer and whatever, but, yeah. So, um, on my lips, I have this, um, liquid lipstick. It's from LA Colors, and... It's, um, just like a matte color. It's kind of like my lips, but better. Um, I really like this. So, it has no name or anything. And then, there's like a gold sheen to it. I use the Wet n Wild, um, Color Icon Lip Gloss in Gemini. Obviously, because <laughs> I'm a Gemini. And I'm very into, like, the con uh, constellations, zodiac, etc. Um, and it's just a gold lip gloss and uh, when I say gold this is very pigmented like I was not expecting it to be pigmented and this was sent to me from my friend Alicia it was in like a big box like I said I have like accumulated so much stuff that I can't even keep track of everything so that's what that looks like and sorry about my dry hands it's was warm for like a couple days and now it's like back to like 43 so it looks like that like I said, it's a very pigmented, so what I did was I just put it on my finger and just dab dabbed it onto my lips. I do have other colors. I have 
Scorpio, Pisces, Capricorn, Virgo, I think Aries. Um, I got a lot of them. Some of them I bought and some of them I got into like a kit that I bought at Walmart. But yeah, anyway, so that's what I'm wearing today. And then of course I just got my um, Ninja Turtle shirt that says, do you feel lucky that I got from Five Below like three or four years ago? So <clears throat> yeah, and then for liner, I just used the One Wild Mega Liner in black. Also, please excuse me if you see my hands, like, shaking. I, um, took Tylenol, which, whatever. But then I took, well, I didn't take, I drank a Java Monster, like, the Monster drinks, but it's coffee. Me and my husband have been addicted to them, and it's not the best for you, but it helps. I don't know, like, I don't get, like, usually it doesn't do anything for me, but today it's just, like, I'm just, like, all jittery and stuff, but I'd rather be that and it also took away my headache so I'd rather have no headache than I'd rather be have I'd rather have no headache than be jittery than have a headache and not you know what I mean anyways <coughs> so now this came in the mail and I half knew what I was getting um my husband I he pays attention more than I think he does apparently because I don't even remember if I said this out loud to him that I wanted it or if I was like wanting it from like when it came out but I posted on Instagram um if you don't follow me on Instagram please do I do post a lot on there um but I got the the Jaclyn Hill palette from Morphe and I was not expecting this um all I saw was that on the on our like bank account thing like that shows you all the purchases I just saw it said Morphe and he wouldn't tell me what it was so yeah this is my first ever Morphe product so I can't wait to use this I was gonna use this today but there's like really no greens which I really didn't use green anyway but this is freaking gorgeous like and I really don't even want to swatch it because it's so freaking pretty but I can't wait to use this purple and I don't use really blues, but oh my god, those are so pretty. And I just can't wait. So, and then there's the color names and stuff on the back. So I really can't wait for that. Um, I don't know. If you guys want to see me use this, let me know. I could probably do like a first impressions on it or something. Um, yeah, and if you see me touch my hair a lot, sorry. It is finally to the point where it's long it's like longer than my shoulders and it's it hasn't been that way well usually I have it shorter but if you can see it's like this I actually just got an inch cut off so um anyways okay so <clears throat> um I went to Walmart yesterday and I wasn't I was there to get dinner because Walmart is just amazing with like their prices and stuff so um I always check out the makeup and I always check up the check out bleh, check out the clearance makeup section because I mean I'm a makeup fanatic even when I'm not like putting it on or whatever I still like to do my makeup also let me know how the lighting is I have two windows open like the blinds and then I have a light on because without the light it, it just seemed like there was more shadows but anyways yeah so I got some things and like a week and a half maybe two weeks ago these were more expensive like between four to nine dollars and I got these for a dollar so I got two of the NYX um, vinyl lip glosses and they are very dark this one is in great pop which <laughs> fun fact I don't like any like grape flavored things but that's besides the point so if you can see it's like a dark purple and I really like the swirl on side but yeah this is just a lip gloss and can I just tell you it's very pigmented now when they say vinyl lip vinyl gloss I understand it's a lip gloss but usually lip glosses are not pigmented like this so that's what that looks like it's very pretty 
and I'm trying to get out of my comfort zone of like nudes and like neutral colors and stuff and then this one is called cherry cola now I was thinking you know maybe it'll be like a dark reddish brown um no this straight up looks black so it's like basically a black lip gloss if you can see right there so yeah perfect for like halloween or whatever or if i just want to you know rock a black lip and then I got two lipsticks. Um, I never really buy Revlon lipsticks because they are kind of expensive. Well, to me, because I like the dollar store and like affordable, inexpensive things, like to me. But I guess they were getting rid of these because of the packaging. It says live boldly. Um, it's just the Revlon Super Luscious Lipstick. And this is the cream formula. This color is in Cherries in the Snow, and I got these for a dollar each. So this is like a red color. Well, it is a red color, but it's more of like a pinky red. And that is very pretty. It's coming a more true red on camera, but it's actually in person more of a like pinky red. And I think this is a very popular color. Or maybe it's just in my head. And then I got Black Cherry, which is... <laughs> that color it's like um burgundy and again in real life it's more dark more a little more darker so right there and it seems to be like more sheer so you might be able to build it up but yeah so those were dollar each so of course i grabbed those my husband's job has like clearance a lot of the times so i always look at that too so i got like a couple well a few things from there I got this Maybelline New York eyeshadow in night sky and it's like a black standard eyeshadow um so uh, it's always good to have like a standard eyeshadow and then I got this Revlon HD what's it called HD something it's like a lipstick I got two colors I got this one in HD Adobe and it's like a um, deep red it's right there and then I got this color in Twilight HD Twilight and mainly I got it because you know it reminded me of when I was obsessed with Twilight and it just brought back memories but also this color is gorgeous it's looking more lighter I guess because of the light, but it's actually like a purple, like a purple purple. So that's that. And then these were like two twenty four each, and they're originally like nine dollars. And then I got this for like ninety nine cents, I think. Um. Okay. And jumping around to the dollar store, I got. Two of these um, double, double sided, uh, they're called Mermaid Shimmer Shadow Pencils, and this one's in Sandcastle. I don't remember if I had these before, but I figured why not for a dollar. And that's my problem. <laughs> when I, when something's inexpensive, I just go, why not? Like, just get it. And this side has a sharpener, so it comes with like a coppery color and then like a nude color this one is um matte okay it's not matte it has like a really like it has like a sheen to it if you can see that and then this one has like more of a noticeable more noticeable sheen so um, I really like them. And then, as you guys know, I love my purples. So, this one is in Splash. So, this one is more of like a blue-toned, like, blue-violet color. Oh, no. 
it's a blue. So that's what that looks like. And then this one is like a purple. Right there. So there's all the swatches. Now you can see the swatches better, I guess. Um, but yeah, mascara. I got the Wet n Wild um, Enhance and Define. Um, just to add to my collection. And then I think that's all for makeup from the dollar store. Okay, so I wait every year for these because these are the most amazing hard candy ever. And it's the um, uh, Lifesavers Hard Candy Spring Mix. And because I really love the watermelon, but I really love the strawberry banana and the raspberry, which I hate raspberry normally, but this raspberry is so good. So I got like four bags of them. Um, I really want to go back and get more because I'm addicted to them. I should show you like all the ColourPop palettes that I've gotten. I mean, there's so much more that I have, but I'm just trying to like show you the stuff that's like right here. So, the um, Soul one, the um, like more orangey warm tone ones. Well, then I got the Ooh La La one, which is all pinks, and I love I love these type of palettes. Um, and then that's what they look like. It's just all pinks, and I really really like them. And then I have the It's My Pleasure one, which is the all purple, which, I don't know. It's not as per like, there's that purple shade, and then there's that one, and then the most of them are, like, more rosy tone, which I don't mind, but if you're gonna make an all purple palette, just make sure they're all, like, purple. And then I got this one, which is the Zodiac palette with Kathleen Lights. And it's so freaking pretty. So, those are all from ColourPop. And I usually get them when there is a sale. Like, um, if it's like 20% off. Or, I use like a $5 off code. Because, like I said, I like to save money. Um, and then... Another palette that I've acquired over the past, like, I guess, I got this a few months ago. It's the Revolution Makeup Revolution London. I don't even know how to pronounce it. A lot of YouTubers don't. And it looks like this. And this is the Dark Rain one. Um, this was at Ulta for, like, $4.99. And I had to get it because I don't, I've never tried this brand. Um, the only thing that sucks is, like, the names are all here. But this is what it looks like. Like, there's a matte side up here, and then the shimmer counterpart is, well, I guess I should hold it right. So, the matte side, the matte count, the matte side, ugh, the matte row is up here, and then the shimmer sh counterpart's down here. So, I, I haven't touched it because, um, I don't know, I just haven't, but I can't wait to use that. Um, so this concludes, like, a little bit of the stuff that I bought um yeah I probably was all over this place but anyways um yeah so I know that a lot of people well not a lot of people but I know um someone wanted to see my makeup collection and I'm getting that I just have to um have to clean and organize again because everything got all like uh crazy so I will talk to you guys later um yeah keep on requesting stuff I guess um don't forget to like and comment and subscribe so I'll talk to you guys later bye